Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as you may have seen, um, there's a new update on uh, the A350 in X-Plane 11. So I was thinking of making a video to show you guys um, how to update the plane because I actually wanted to update it and it wasn't easy. Um, it took me a while to figure it out until I got help from someone on Discord, but I figured it out and I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So the first thing you wanna do so you want to open up uh, your files, and I'm going to go all full screen. And you want to go ahead and find your X11 uh, root folder. Once you've uh, found that folder, you want to go ahead and go to Aircraft, Laminar Research, uh, A350, and um, it should look a bit like this. You may not have these, uh, but if you don't, just ignore it, okay? Um, so it should look like this with these folders, and you should see this um, little folder called xupdater uh, client dot j a r. And what I did was I tried opening it, and then I was confused because there are a lot more files in it. That's actually not how you do it. So um, if you don't have uh, Java installed already, you want to go ahead and install it, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, so you want to download it right here. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. But once it's fully downloaded and you did the install wizard or however you call it, and it's fully installed, um, you would go down to xupdaterclient.jar and x 11 aircraft laminar research and Airbus A350. And you want to go ahead and um, right click on it and do um, open with, so where is it at? Open with Java. So let it load a bit, and it would. I had to delete some of it because I didn't want to leak anything. But um, you would want to put in your email right here. Don't put your username for some reason. That didn't work for me, so I just put my email in and my license key. I got it off uh, from X Plan 11 store. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quickly. Give me a second. Uh, I don't want to leak anything. Uh, hold on. Log into my account. So you would want to go to, um, I'll just put a link to it in the description and cause I don't want to leak anything and I don't know how to blur things up. And so like I was saying, I want to put a link to it in the description because I don't want to leak anything and I don't know how to blur things out yet. Um, but it will take you to your X111 account and you would go to your uh, products, it says products, and look under that and find Flight Factor A350. And you would see um, next to that, it would say serial, and then it would show you um, just numbers and letters. So you would wanna go ahead and copy and paste that into the license key right here. So, like I was saying, you're gonna wanna copy and paste the serial number from your product, and I'm actually gonna skip ahead to the part once I'm done doing this. I don't like anything. But once you've done that, once you put in your email and um, your serial number, um, you would wanna click on beta right here. And if it doesn't work, and like once you click on it, if nothing happens, just click back and redo the first step, and then come back here and click on beta. And it's gonna say something like, uh, I'll show you guys. It's gonna say this. And you just want to click on OK. It just, um, if you click on fresh or anything else, um, you're not going to get the update to work. So you just want to click on beta. Um, don't worry, it's not going to mess up anything. And just click on next and just do the rest of everything. It's pretty easy. So it's doing this. I'm going to cancel it. And then, yeah, you would it would just do the rest of the downloading and installing. And once it's done that, I'm going to skip ahead to the part where I open up x and I'll show you guys uh, how it looks like. So as you can see here, once when it's loading, it's going to say version 1.6.8. That's how you know that you have got the right, correct version running. So I'll just let it load up. Alright, uh, my view's kind of messed up for this aircraft, but yeah. So, um... The, the most important thing that they added that was not included with the plane when you bought it was um, there wasn't sit and start. So let's just do, for example, flight from Los Angeles to uh, France. And then we'll just do, you know, just random thing real quick. So once you've done the initial page, you know, 
you would go to flight plan and before the update there wouldn't be something called sid right here but because of the update it's actually actually very uh, happy with this update because now uh when you choose a runway you can go ahead and choose a sid which is amazing because um it just took such a long time for them to update it and that's not the only thing they did another thing they did is um they've made the cabin look uh, a lot better um they've made you know the chairs have different textures and stuff um and yeah it looks uh, just great i'll put a link in the description for um just a page where you can see all of the new changes so you can check those out and here i'll just show you guys um all right um yeah here's how the uh cabin looks like for all the passengers it looks pretty nice um the windows are okay You know, one thing that I, I don't like, I don't know if it was like this before or not, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't, is the windows, the, the like, the surrounding for the windows just don't look um, that good. Well, like, if you're doing a wing view, for example, if you're doing something like this, like, I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't really like it, but apart from that, um, Flight Factor did a great job with the whole update and like i said i'll put a link to show you guys all the new things they added to it um and yeah and um that's basically it guys so i just want to say if anyone from flight factor is watching this i want to say uh, thank you for all the hard work on the new update um the season starter is such a great thing to this update and um a lot of people are happy with it it's just awesome um you know it took them a long time to do this update but it's finally done and i'm impressed with everything that they added to it the new uh textures uh the sids and stars and all that good stuff so yeah that, that it was pretty short video um but yeah like i was saying uh thank you flight factor um <clears throat> uh, we appreciate your hard work on this new update and uh to all the people watching this, have a great day or night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.